Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, as you know, uh, if you watched any of my videos before, it's really not about uh, relationships or finding a girlfriend or any of that. It's about uh, guys' stories. Every man has a story. But I've been getting a lot of questions like, well, you're in the Philippines, have you met anybody? Are you in a relationship? Are you married, divorced, whatever? So I decided, okay, I'm going to do one video and uh, talk about me and uh, relationships, my relationship. I have mentioned it in other videos. Um, but yeah, I'm in a relationship and um, it's with uh, my girlfriend, my fiance, actually, Jen Lynn right here. And uh, we met, how long ago was it? Um, four months ago. Four months ago. I'm yeah, sorry, I'm bad ago. with dates and times. We met four months ago on um, Filipina Cupid. And I'd been on the, that site for about a month, and I decided uh, that I wasn't going to renew my subscription because I just had, <clears throat> it basically a waste of time. My girls that weren't serious, girls that were kind of scammers, um, girls I wasn't interested in. And uh, so I had like one week left on my subscription. So, okay, when that's, uh, you know, I'm not going to renew it. I quit responding to girls and wasn't doing anything. And then I saw, I saw Jen and uh, sent her the usual, I said the same thing to every girl, most guys do because you're, it's all a numbers game. You have to you know, respond to a bunch of girls and reach out to a bunch of girls to get one or two to even respond back to you. And uh, so um, I saw Jen, I sent her the mess like, you know, hi, how are you? I think something like that. And you remember that, Jen? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you were, why were you even on Filipino Cupid, like it had been up before, or was it the first time? Or? First time, Filipino Cupid. And what was your reason? Um, I mean, obviously to meet somebody, but um, had you been in relationships before, it didn't work out, or why were you um, even on that website? Um, I was looking for a foreigner boyfriend. Okay. Yeah. And why a foreigner boyfriend? Because I like a foreigner boyfriend. Um, I just like a foreigner, uh, I didn't have a, any option about the Filipino. You, you hadn't met anybody or, I mean, you went to university, right? Yeah. And you didn't meet, ever meet any guys there? Guys never asked you out on a date or anything? No. Really? Your whole life from, from high school all the way through university, nobody ever asked you out on a date? No. Wow. Interesting. Um. So why a foreigner guy instead of a Filipino guy? Mm, I just like your skin color. <laughs> okay. Um, that's it? Yeah. You like the looks of them? But you skin didn't color. really know anything about foreign, foreign men, right? No. And you didn't have, did you have a preference <laughs> like American, German, Canadian? No, or? as long as he's a foreigner. <laughs> okay. How about age? Any preference oh, on age? But of course, I like you want white. Okay. White color. You're a white guy, okay. Um, yeah. And what, um, how about age? Age? No, I didn't care about the age. Hmm, interesting. Um, so when I came to the Philippines, I had no idea that there were, that women there dated older men and it was common and nobody thought anything, thought twice about it. Even though I worked on cruise ships for many years uh, mm -hmm. with a lot of Filipinos, men and women. Um, somehow that kind of slipped by me that it was even accepted in their culture. And I had no real um, desire to go to the Philippines. <clears throat> I came here, I mentioned in other videos, I won't go into now why I came here. It had nothing to do with women. <clears throat> so when I came here and found this out that, you know, there were all these, you know, young women interested in older men, and there were no women my age really available that uh, <clears throat> interested me anyway. So I was on there, and uh, so I reached out to you, and if I remember right, I usually um, would ask a girl if she had Facebook, and I'd like to switch over from using Filipina Cupid to communicate to using, Filip using Facebook Messenger, because then it proves that the girl's real. And also I wanted her to know that I was real, because I have a real Facebook account that I've had for a long time. And so <clears throat> I shared mine with you, and then you shared yours with me, right? Yeah. And what did, did you check mine out right away, or what did you do? 
I did check your profile. Before I confirm the re I request, I checked their profile first. I don't like fake yeah. people. Well, I found some fake girls on, um, I think on Filipino Cupid, where they sent you, it's, oh yeah, I'll send you my Facebook, and they sent it to you, and it's got like a f handful of uh, professional photos, like their like model type photos, bikini yeah. photos, oh. no photos of like their family or friends or inside their house or nothing like that. <clears throat> and so you know those are usually fake. But yours was obviously real. You had friends yes, and family, they, a lot of photos and stuff. I think that it's my opinion. Um, I think that that is why the girls do that because they want to catch some, you know, caught yeah. your attention. They get yeah. a sexy body, sexy, um, they, get, they get a boobs, but I don't think that they're real. Well, it could be also they're just trying to protect themselves, you know, like a little bit of, you know, if it doesn't work out, he doesn't have my real Facebook, you know, contact. Um, so anyway, um, if I remember right, <clears throat> I asked you for coffee. Yeah. And you said yes. And then um, we were trying to set up a when and a where. And then I remember you came back after you'd said yes. You said, oh, is it okay if I bring my mama with me? Is that what you call her, your mama? Yeah, yeah. mama. And... Uh, I, I normally a guy would say, oh, well, I mean, I'm not going to go out with a girl who wants to bring her mother on her first date. But here in the Philippines, I'd known from talking to other guys <clears throat> that that was quite common. And so I agreed to that. And um, you, uh, what did you tell your mother? Did you talk to her and tell her about me? Or how did that come about? Did she even know you were even on a dating site? Yeah, she knows it. And she didn't try and talk you out of it? Or she thought it was okay? Or what? No, no she's not talking about it. What did she say? I mean, when you told her, when she found out you were on a dating site? She's not, she's not saying anything about it. She didn't try and talk you out of it? or Yeah, because she knows that I like foreigners. She knew you what, She knew you were looking for a foreign boyfriend? Yeah, okay. she already knew that. Okay. Her. So anyway, you told her that uh, you'd met me online and that I'd asked you for coffee, right? Yes. And... Did she suggest that she come along, or was that your idea? It's my idea. Okay, and why was that? Um, because first, I never been experienced to meet someone, and I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say, and I'm a little. Of course, I'm scared, nervous, mixed um, emotion because, you know, it could be my first experience so that's why it was, it was your first out. date too wasn't it you told me that you'd never been on a date before right? never been and you're how old i know i know how old you are but i mean tell the audience how old you are how old yeah how old are you 25 she's 25 never been on a date with anybody not even in high school prom date nothing um so we meet at tom tom's and um bring your mother and also you had two friends come too, right? Yes. I didn't know about the two friends coming. That was kind of a surprise. And we all sit down. I didn't tell you about that? I don't think so, no. Mm. I don't think so. Doesn't matter. Anyway, we all sat down. And your mother and you were across from me. And then your friends were on the side there. And nobody talked to me, really. Nobody really talked to me. Mm. I kept asking questions, trying to get conversations <laughs> going. I remember at one point... I sent you a message while you were sitting across from me. I said, are you interested? Do you want to see me again? And you messaged me back while your mother's sitting there. And what did you say? Remember that? Sitting beside me, Mom? Remember you're sitting, you're sitting, you and your mother were side by side. I sent you a text while we were, we were sitting there having coffee. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Yes. And what did you say? I said, are you even interested, didn't I? Yeah. And you said, yeah, I'm interested. And you want to see me again? You said, yes. So anyway, that, that date, I didn't know. I don't know how you felt about it, but I wasn't sure, you know, because I, you know, I wasn't getting any response from anybody, you know, not just you, but anybody. And what was your feelings? How did you feel about me when you, when you saw me? Shy. Yeah, but what did you think? You said, well, this guy I'm interested in, I'm not interested, or what was your thoughts? My thought about you? Yeah. I think you're a nice guy. Okay. Good, okay. 
First time that I saw your face, yeah, you're nice, you're a gentleman. Yeah. I think, Mom, I said, I like him. <laughs> <laughs> I thought like I like your, I, I really do like your skin color. Mm. Mm -hmm. See, that's one thing Americans, when we hear that skin color, it gets all talks about racism and things, which you know we're having problems in oh, America sorry, with that now. Sorry. But I know it's in Philippines. Um, Negros Oriental, it's called Negros Oriental and Negros Occidental because the Spanish Light. thought that the people there had darker skin, so they called them Negros, which is black. And. Uh, Light is like a love for us. Hmm. Yeah. I and love so, your skin color. Yeah, so it's almost like a. I think it's a, a um, self-conscious or it's um, people here are just very um, conscientious about their skin color for some reason. I've heard this from a lot of, lot of people, you know, mostly girls, but they told me the same thing. Anyway, that, that's beside the point. Um, so that end, this date ends, you and your mother leave, and I go out to my, and I had this, I've got a pretty cool motorcycle. And before Jen showed up with her mother, I came there, I was like 10 minutes early, and I pull up, and some of the guys come out to work at Tom Tom's. So they, oh, I like your motorcycle. And so I always let them take selfies on my motorcycle and sit on it, and I always tell them all about it. And so when uh, the day was over, and Jen and her mother and her friends leave, I go out there to get on my motorcycle and start it, and the guys come out, and they want to video me on the motorcycle, and they want to hear it start up and all this stuff. So I put the key in, and Nothing, nothing. My motorcycle was dead. <laughs> so something was wrong. I'm stuck downtown. So okay, this is some date. I mean, she wouldn't talk to me. I don't know if she likes me or not. My motorcycle's broken. I had to call my mechanic who came all the way downtown. I took a tricycle all the way home to Valencia from Dumagati. And then my, my mechanic picked up the bike and somehow got it running like the next day. But anyway, um, so then the next day, I think I messaged you. And you messaged me, and uh, it was like I wasn't really, still wasn't sure how you felt about anything. Mm -hmm. And um, I asked you out to dinner, and then you told me that you're not allowed to go out at, at night date. You're not allowed to have a night date, right? You never had one. You weren't, had, never had any date, but you weren't allowed to go out at night. Yeah. And but you asked your mother, right? Yeah, I did. And she get, got permission. permission. Yeah, but you had to be home by eight. And I said, okay, fine. So. Um, I suggested Pasta King, which is a restaurant that a friend of mine had suggested. And uh, you didn't want me to pick you up. Who suggested it, Pasta King? Martin. Oh, okay. Our mutual friend Martin. It was one of his favorite places. Okay. So anyways, um, I get down there early and um, I wait for you and you show up right on time in a tricycle. Mm. And we go inside and again, very quiet. We didn't really talk hardly at all. You know Wait. First time that I saw you wearing a long sleeve with a collar, I said, oh my gosh, <laughs> I feel that like you're so hot. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> so, uh, when it's hot, um, tall, 6'4", of course, that plus for me, <laughs> your height, mm -hmm. and your skin color, your height, and the way you um, wear your clothes, and really neat and you're so cool oh, thank you thank <laughs> you and so I mean, things went okay with that day i remember you didn't like your food and i felt bad about that because I, I like pasta king and you ordered i think you ordered like the cheapest thing on the menu like was like pasta you know spaghetti with like marinara sauce on it you didn't really eat much of it and uh, <clears throat> so that went okay we chatted a little bit and then when you left i mean i didn't want you to have to use your money to go home, you know, and I, did, I couldn't take you home because you didn't want me to. And uh, I didn't even know where you lived back then. Mm -hmm. And so I gave you 50 pesos for a tricycle because I just wanted you to make sure you got home and I figured that would be enough. But you said, you told me later, not that night, but you told me later that, that you were insulted by that, right? Yeah. And tell, tell everybody why you were insulted by that. Of course, because I've got money in my pocket and then why are you giving me money? I can pay on my own. I can pay the tricycle. So, kind of insulting me. Yeah, and again, it's a, it's a cultural clash there. 
you know, in America, like if you take a girl out and you go out someplace, like say you're in New York and she lives uptown and you live, you know, in Manhattan, you would make sure that she had a taxi home. You wouldn't just say, okay, see you later. It's just not polite. And so I was trying to do what, you know, my culture would do to make sure you got home safely. I didn't want you trying to walk home or anything. And um, that's why I gave you the money. But anyway, <clears throat> so then what happened after that as far as when did we, oh, I remember. I asked you if you wanted, you said you like hiking. Yeah, I like hiking. And I said, have you ever been to Castro Falls? Never been. And so I said, well, let's go there. And you agreed. And uh, we decided what day we were going to go and everything. And then I remember it was like, it seemed like it was a few hours before we were supposed to go. Mm -hmm. You messaged me, said, oh, can I bring my sister? <laughs> and that's when I kind of, that kind of bugged me. I said, look, you know, we've already been out twice. You know, I'm not some creep. Um, never touched and you, you, never said, said anything. you said that um, it's no room for another yeah. person. I couldn't ride three people on a motorcycle. I asked my sister, uh, I want to be with my sister on that day because, of course, you're tall and then I don't know you. Uh, so I'm scared and nervous. So anyway, um, we met not at your house but nearby your house. I remember by an elementary school, it's like within... So how did you, by the way, how did you get from your house to where we met? Huh? And then we went to Castle Roar. How did you get from your house to where I picked you up at? To How's be honest, I didn't take a ride with the tricycle. I walked. <laughs> it's a long way. <laughs> it's like... There's uh, no tricycle. I keep on waiting on tricycle half an hour. Hmm. There's no tricycle. It's like... Um, it's very hot. It's at least two or three kilometers. Anyway, you, I get there and you eventually showed up like, you know, you know, five or ten minutes after I got there. Mm. And we got on the motorcycle, your first time riding with me on a motorcycle. Yeah. And um, so we go to Castro Falls and we hike, you know, it's, if anybody's ever been to Castro, there's um, stairs that goes down, they go over 300 steps down into a gorge. And we went down there, there was no talking the whole way down, if I remember. We finally get to the, to the waterfall. And I took some pictures of you. And you pose and smile and stuff. I remember we'd be stepping over rocks and I'm trying to like hold your hand to keep you from falling and you didn't seem to want me even to touch your hand. At least that's how I felt. Hey, we're not that close enough yet. <laughs> yeah, so she, she would rather drown than have me ha take her hand. So we did Castorora, you know, and then we came back. In your house. That's you right, I brought dinner. you over to my house for the first Early time, dinner. my apartment. Yeah. Which I was really surprised that she even came to my apartment, and what did we do that day, do you remember? Early dinner. Early dinner, yeah? Yeah, spaghetti. Spaghetti, and then, did we watch a movie or something? Yeah, we did, Yeah. but yeah. we're not talking. Yeah, we didn't talk the whole time. It was like Tampo. Guys, if you know what that is, it was like a Tampo date. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I offered to wash the dishes that day, but you... I didn't want to, I felt uncomfortable having washed the dishes, but... Yeah, that's a girl thing, you're washing the dishes. Then I took you home. Mm. On time, and then I think I really I think I think after that day I thought well she's just not interested I'm just feel coldness I felt like you know no interest because there was no questions about me or hey we just met this is that the three days yeah. so um, I need more days to you know feel so more comfortable with you but in my mind uh, I'm not that in my mind that. I already, you know. Okay. Like you. <laughs> I'm on like American time, you know, with the dates and stuff, like how things progress, especially at my age. But we don't have that much time left anyway, so. But you um, didn't know all, you didn't know all, everything. Nothing. So I, I basically had given up. Mm -hmm. I'd given up on the whole thing and thought, well, you know, just let this go. And I didn't even, I don't, th I don't think I messaged you at all. I just kind of like let it go. And then, two or three days later, uh, you messaged me, right? It's not two or three, and the, I guess it's one day. Was it one day? Yeah. Do you remember what you said or anything? I don't even remember. Um, I guess so. <laughs> what did you say? I said, on that, I uh, tried to fall Yeah, I fall asleep. I was sleeping that day. Um, and I woke up at this 11 p.m. And I am nervous. And 
What's on my mind? It's you. Think about why it's you. I just met you, and I didn't know you so well. And you know, I guess that my mind was um, saying that. I guess why is that he's not messaging me? Why is that? Um, because supposedly you messaged me early in the morning, say good morning, but not anymore. So I don't know. I feel so never nervous mm. and um, hurt mm. because I didn't hear anything at you at all anymore. So that's why I, I message you explain. Why? So you said that. Um, yeah, I was kind of blunt, actually. I remember I said, well, I just didn't think you were interested. You haven't talked to me. If I come close to you, it feels like you, you know, get this radar up and you're moving away. And it was just very uncomfortable, you know, after being together three times. Mm. And uh, then what did you say? That you, I remember. I, I you, explained my side. Yeah, that's right. Because we just met and... Of course, shy. And I keep forgetting. My, one of yeah. my attitude is shy. And I kept forgetting, and like she's never been on a date before, never ever had a boyfriend, never. I mean, yeah. no relationship of any kind. And I kept, you know, I kept forgetting about that. I keep thinking of like, you know, normal Don't relationships. That. Well, not normal, but women who have had, you know, been out before, you know, at twenty-five. Mm. So then you came over again. Um, like the next day, I think, another afternoon date. And um, I think things went better. I think we watched And I'm still, uh, I feel so happy that day because you're giving me a chance yeah. to prove myself to you. Yeah. I was happy too. And it seemed like it slowly, slowly. Yeah, because you're giving up. Yeah. Sure. Well, I know. Then I asked you if you wanted to go swimming. You've never been, she's never been in a pool in her life. And she said, well, I don't have a bathing suit. <laughs> and so when I picked her up the next time for a date, another, another dance, she'd come over during the afternoons for a while. So I, she, I picked her up. Instead of heading to my house, I started heading downtown. She said, where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> and so we're going down to Robinson's to buy your bathing suit. And then what did you think about that? You weren't, <laughs> you weren't serious, were you? you, didn't I said, you? oh, no, I don't want to wear a bathing suit. I don't want to wear a top, a yeah. bra, and a panty with... People's looking at me, you no, know, feel so uncomfortable. Now, so we went to Robinson's, and she wouldn't help me even find one. The sales lady wouldn't help us find one. And finally, I just walked over to the rack, and I picked one up and go, how about this one? And I gave it to you, and you didn't want to try it on. And you finally agreed to go in the dressing room and try it's too it on. showy. I don't like the top. It's too showy, your whole body. I didn't like it. It's actually a very, if guys, if you saw it, you would say this is a very um, conservative bathing suit. Not a bikini in any way, shape, or form. Very conservative. Like, think like 1930s style. I'd rather be wear a t-shirt to jump. And she the wanted, like, you know, long sleeves and, <laughs> you know, something down to her ankles. So anyway, um, she tried on, said, you said you'd, li you'd liked it, right? The what? The bathing suit. Yeah, I like it. She because it, it covers my tummy. Yeah. yeah, it covers, you know, all the important bits. So we come back to my place, and um, I said, okay, let's go swimming. And she's basically freaking out. You didn't want to go swimming. You didn't want to put on the bathing suit. You I, didn't, I had to really pressure her. I said, come <laughs> on, it's just swimming. And so finally you put it on. She's in the bathroom, CR, for like 30 minutes. <laughs> and then she finally comes out, and you think she was naked. And you were embarrassed and everything. And finally, I coaxed you out, and we went to the pool, and then what? There's a guy looking at us. And it's yeah, there wasn't supposed to be any guys out there, and, I, and we get there, and I didn't realize they were there, and there's like three or four of the neighbors, mm. guys I knew, all, you know, of course, checking her out, like, you know, who's this girl Mark had? Because I, had, I hadn't bought anybody over there, and I'd been there for quite a while, so they were all real curious about who I was with. So, um, we get in the pool, right? Yeah, we did. And you liked that, right? Yeah. <laughs> and she enjoyed it. And uh, so then um, we started seeing each other for like every day for, what, several weeks, right? Or a few weeks? Um, skipping one day, afternoon day. Yeah, we skip one day. And then I asked you if you'd spend the night once, right? Remember? Yeah. 
And I was really surprised she said she'd like to. And no. <laughs> you did say that. No. What did you say? Um, the first that uh, the first um that you said to be that do you want to sleep over here? Said so I said no, not yet, <laughs> not yet. So when you ask me again, okay, I try to ask my papa because <laughs> you know papa is really strict. What are the girls? That must have been an interesting conversation. <clears throat> it wasn't? I said it must have been an interesting conversation. Um, he said, <laughs> So what did you say to him? Tell me what you said to him. I said, Papa, mm -hmm. um, can I sleep to sleep over to Mark's house? I said, What are you? <laughs> 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 I can't explain it. Come on, tell me the best you can. Come on. <laughs> I, I said, what are you gonna do? What are you guys is going to do? Huh? Look at each other. <laughs> Go, um, just sleep, watch a movie, you sleep. That's it. Nothing else. Eat, you know, <laughs> foods. Hmm. <laughs> like that. That's what hmm. said. Because you know, um, I, I explained it to them because you know every time that I went to your house to visit you to eat a dinner with you you're so nice you're just sitting here um watching the movie watching the movie that's it um we're not doing anything bad at all no, you weren't, I, feel so, you know, yeah. I feel so comfortable that starting starts on that day start mm -hmm. on that day right yeah i said ma it's so nice we just watch a movie and then talk a little bit and then he did nothing wrong anything to me mm. it's nice gentleman he also put because i don't know how to put on the helmet you did that to me mm. Mm. <laughs> so the gentleman you opened the door to me is that for me how to say it that's right for me yeah for me very gentleman so um, let's check the time here. Ugh. So um, anyway, she spends the night, and then I think he pretty much started spending the night every night after that, right? Every night. Wasn't it close? Pretty much. In the every. morning, you take me home. Yeah. In the morning. But yeah, we did that for a while. She was staying over on a regular basis. And how long was it before I asked her to move in? Do you remember that? Don't worry. Um, weeks. A few weeks? I guess that's a few weeks. Yeah. A few weeks, guys. A few weeks. I asked her if she, I said, why don't you just move in? And um, she did. And it's been, you know, Great ever since, right? And this is our second apartment. We were together at Dulce Vida for a couple months. And then what's good about where we are now is like, this is our apartment. But Dulce Vida was my place. And so she was there with her stuff fitting in around my stuff. But when we moved in here, it's like we moved in together. So she put everything away, including my things. So she put her stuff wherever she wanted to put them. And, you know, we arranged the furniture the way we wanted it. And, um, it's, you know, it's much better that it's, you know, it's our place and not, you know, my place. Yeah. And we've been happy here, you know. Um, we're still, you know, getting to know um, things about each other, still trying to understand cultures. What? You don't think we're still learning about each other? I know you. Yes. <laughs> I yeah. already know you. You already know me, yeah, that's <laughs> true. But my point is we're really happy. And so this will be my last... Uh, and only video with Jenna Lynn. She's gonna probably have her own channel pretty soon. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Do you already know me? Because we've been together in well, four months. Yeah, I think I do. But I, I still find out new things about you all the time. Um, I can't off the top of my head think of things, but things that like you like or things you don't like or you know, things you're afraid of, you know, like ghosts. I, I don't, I'm afraid of ghosts. 
things you believe in um, that you won't go into. Like, oh, I know one. If you drink cold water, it makes you fat. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I find that's these little things out. That's what my mama says. Yeah, that's what her mama says. So when it's you true. Drink cold. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so she hits me with these little words of wisdom from time to time. You know, <laughs> I Google it. <laughs> and I give her a fair shot. <laughs> so, but anyway, we're happy. We're happy. <laughs> Why did you insert it? Why did you insert it that cold water? Because we were just discussing <laughs> earlier. So anyway, um, that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching the channel, and um, thank you, Jen, for coming here for me and uh, let pleasure, me interview you. Sir. And uh, from now on, guys, I'm afraid she's the one and only pretty girl that I'm going to have. <laughs> be interviewing on my channel. It's The rest are going to be uh, old guys like me. So uh, that's going to be the rest of my, uh, my uh, guests on my channel. So uh, thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye. Have a good day, everyone. Thank mm. you. Can you hit the button? Um, hit the button. Thank you for watching. Yeah, that's it. <laughs>